Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve find closest number to zero, leak code number 2239. So we're given an integer array of nums and it's of size n, and we need to return the number with the value that is closest to zero in the array. And if there are multiple answers, we need to return the number with the largest value. Okay, so let's look at this example here, negative four, negative two, one, four, eight. So as it shows here, all of the distances from the number to zero is just the absolute value of those numbers which means if it's negative, just make it positive. And if it was already positive, then just keep it positive. Okay, so then you're really just looking for the number with the smallest absolute value, which in this case is going to be one. And so that is gonna be the answer that we return in the output. Now, what's kind of interesting about this question is if you have two negative one and one, well then both one and negative one have an absolute value of one. And so they're both going to be the closest numbers to zero. However, as it says in the beginning here, if there are multiple multiple answers, you need to return the number with the largest value. So if there is actually multiple answers, well, that means you have both the negative version and the positive version of the same number. And so you would want to return the positive version in that case. So since we're looking for the closest number, we'll get that as a variable. And for now, we'll just assume that it's going to be the first number. And we can actually guarantee that this number does exist in the array, because if you check the constraints, you can see that we have at least one value in the array. Okay, then what we'll do is for each number, we'll call it x in the array of nums. So loop over the array. If the absolute value of x is less than the absolute value of your closest number, well, then that means that you found a new closest number. And so we would just just set closest equal to that current number x. After we get through this for loop here, you're going to have closest as the closest number. But what's interesting here is that if you have closest as a negative number and the positive version exists in the array, then you would want to return the positive version. So we can do this with an if statement. If closest is less than zero, so if our closest value is negative, and it's true that the absolute value of closest is also in the numbers array, so if our smallest value is negative and the positive version exists in the array, then you would want to return the positive version, which is absolute value of the closest. But if that's not true, if either of those conditions are false, then we're totally okay just returning our closest variable because that means that either the closest number was the negative and we didn't have the positive version, or it means that we're left with the positive version. And either way, we just want to return that number. Okay, this is going to give us a time complexity of of, well, let's think about it here. We loop through the array once, that's going to be O of n. All of the stuff in here is totally constant. So this is an O of n loop. But then we basically loop through again because you actually check if the absolute value of closest is in the numbers array. This is an O of n lookup into the array. And so this is another loop as well. So that's essentially big O of 2n, but that's going to reduce just to big O of n. And the space complexity, that is not using any sort of storage. So that is O of 1. Okay, so if we are to run and submit that, then that is going to work and it's going to be pretty darn fast. I hope this was helpful, guys. Drop a like if it was and have a great day. Bye-bye.